Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and today we're taking a look at another Trespasser custom map. This one is actually a modified version of a custom map I've previously played through, Craters. This is Craters Evolved, or Craters Updated, by Dream Eater, who essentially took the original map and apparently just made it more complex, added more weapons, more dinosaurs, and changed the terrain a fair bit, it sounds like. So, let's play through that. And that is Craters. So I kind of remember this map. Yeah, I remember this cutscene as well, which I couldn't put in the original video because without CE, I can't really record these cutscenes. They literally come up as blank. I remember in the original Trespasser LP, I actually had to extract and convert the Trespasser cutscenes because they're in a proprietary format and then insert them into the LP so that you could actually see them. Yeah, so this is the map where it's like kind of a, a crater valley in the center, and we need to kind of like go around the upper edge of it. But I'm thinking of another map that's also like a giant crater that isn't this one. You had to get to like a broken helicopter that was on top of a really pointy cliff. I can't remember what map that was. Also, I don't think this map originally had like a dark fog. Probably get up there. I think this was also the map where I had the M16 uh, incident, where the M16 turned out to be too long for Anne's body. So it would, like, clip against her and not aim straight. Okay, here's the helicopter. Yeah, so we need key, and I think we need, like... Gas or a battery to put in here? I guess gas, because there's like a fuel pump back here. Or do we also need a battery for here? We need to find some stuff, is the is the thing. Also, I'm surprised with there being a decent number of maps that have used the helicopter model. You know, this being the crashed Biosyn helicopter from one of the last two Trespasser levels, I think it was. How come nobody's ever made just like a slightly more fixed version of this model, you know? Just kind of like copy the, the non-broken rotor and replace the regular, or replace this one here, just kind of mirror it, and just give it a texture that's not so crusty. I feel like that would be not too difficult to fix, but then again, not that many people have used the helicopter in their maps. Also, I feel like the move speed in this map is a little faster, but it might be just because I'm not getting stuck in the ground, like you do so often. Okay, there's a lot of like crate platforming over there it looks like that's definitely not from the original map so I guess that's part of the edits okay there's a gate here with a mr. DNA sign I can't remember if that was originally in trespasser or not and we've got some of the components of a man here I want to check something here okay so I'm gonna hit control E uh, I don't think we can... Yeah, you can't store spines. And then I'm going to hit E. Hmm. So I... Th okay. Now I have it working. So, with Trespasser CE, you do have the option for an extra stow slot so that we can carry two things on us and then one in our hand. But it seems a little finicky, at least with guns. It seems like with the guns, whenever you hit E, it's going to pull out the back gun and you can't, like, put it back. But right now, you can see I've got a skull on my shoulder and a bone on my hip. I am a burgeoning necromancer apprentice. But we can't go through here, because we need a keycard, and this keycard reader is broken. I think that's a little e <laughs> eerie that it just magnetized like that, like a hand reader. Of course, it's actually just stuck, but that's less impressive to say it that way. Okay, we know the bone isn't going to do us much good, and the skull is like a 50-50 on whether it's an effective throwing weapon or not. Parasaurolophus just kind of wandering around over here. There's another dinosaur in Trespasser that has a fin on its head instead of this curved, you know, Parasaurolophus 
projection, and I cannot remember for the life of me what it's called. Okay. Got a mounted gun here. Empty, empty. I don't think this was empty originally, was it? I feel like I remember trying to shoot an Albertosaur with it. Okay, well. Where can we go? That's where we came from. And there's a path up top. Which I assume we get to via all that stacked stuff over there. But what's over this way? Crash Jeep. Explosive blood splatter. Very lumpy road. No wonder he crashed. I hear the snuffling of a raptor. Okay, so here's a gate that needs a white Security key card. System. Looks like that's still active. Which means we need to find a white key card to open this. There's a raptor down there. There's also a cave? There definitely wasn't a cave in this map originally. Actually, this, that raptor seems to be behind a fence, so... So we don't have to worry about him right now. Oh, sliding down the hill. Come up. There we go. Another blood splatter. Are we following a trail of blood here? Of blood explosions? And yeah, there's some more up ahead. Where does this blood lead us? Maybe it'll lead us to a dead body with the keycard? There definitely seems to be some significant modification to this map, though, because, like, as I'm going, I'm kind of remembering these areas, and I don't remember there being any kind of fence at all in this level, aside from the one with the broken card reader. Okay, there's a trailer over there, but the blood leads us down here. Whoever this is is, like dead three times over to leave blood splatters that big. Oh no. We gotta head down into this pit by a tree, which is usually pretty, yeah, slippery. You can see if I stand still, she starts to slide off the side. There's our corpse. Oh it's the sweater-wearing guy from Christmas Crisis. Is it Christmas Crisis or North Pole Chaos? One of the two Christmas maps. He's got a shotgun here, which is like a a higher res spas than their normal Six one. Six left. Like, that's looking pretty fancy, even compared to Trespass's already decent-looking gun models. I guess that's supposed to be more closely based off of Muldoon's spas. Six left. Drop it to reorient it. Alright, well, hopefully it's worthwhile considering we had to jump down into this pit to get it. And I think the way we came in is the only way out. We need to use this box to get up there. Anything else down here? It would really suck if the keycard was down here and I had to come back later. Otherwise, it seems like the reward was just the shotgun. Which... For me, is not the worst reward. Assuming it actually works. Well. But I mean, again, Trespasser has pretty good shotguns. Even if you don't really use them as shotguns, per se. Like, they have almost, I'd say, realistic shotgun range to an extent. They fire more than three feet, is what I'm saying. Also, I th think... Well, we can kind of get on this crate if we, like, lumberjack roll it. I don't know, what would you call that? I 
but it is light enough for me to still strong arm. Come on. Oh, no. It's kind of stuck in the pool. Ugh. Wow. <laughs> she could really huck that. You know, this might actually work. Because I don't know if we can jump directly onto the crate, but we can probably... You know. Only thing is I'm going to have to jump immediately after I hit the crate, or I'm going to start sliding off of it. So let's do a quick save here, in case something terribly goes wrong. Oh yeah, just keep going. Nope, nope. Don't slide off. Okay. That actually went way better than expected. Sometimes you just need to keep going and not stop, or otherwise you're going to fall off. Definitely going to quick save after that. And this should be a lot easier to get up. Even with this floating bulk fruits crate. Just kind of get up here. Alright, so now we're armed, but don't have a key card. And I don't remember where the key card was originally. I was hmm. really hoping that wasn't gonna happen. Okay, we probably need an actual key to get in here. Which, uh, it's always a pain in the ass because they're obviously very small and very easy to lose. Is anything over there? No, it looks like outside the level. Alright, well, I can get up here, but this one doesn't have, like, a hole in the roof or anything to drop down. I do wonder why there's a stack of crates to get up here, though. Like, I don't think I need this one, do I? This one's... This one is apparently extremely heavy. I'm, I'm kind of tempted to use the shotgun to blast it off in case there's like a key under it, but that seems like a waste when I only have six shots. I just don't really get why I can't grab it at all. There's no... Oh, well, I can stick my hand through it, but that doesn't help. Six left. I'm so tempted to just blast it off the roof. No. Actually, you know what? Let's quick save. Six left. Yep, it wasn't worth it. So let's quick load. I don't remember what the quick load key is. Oh, it's not that. Um, F1. Nope, that's it. F2, F3, F4, F5, F6, F7. I don't think there is a quick load key, but there is a quick save key, because as you can see, <laughs> we quick saved. Six rounds. Alright, so can't do anything there until we get another key. What's up with this raptor? He's like trapped in this little fenced off area. I kind of feel like that means there's a key in there, right? Then again, I don't actually see a way out of this fenced-off area. I feel like there's less raptors in this area than there was before. Alright, well, let's uh, go this way. The cave was the other way. It was on the other side of that fence. This is a dead end as well. Well, sort of a dead end. I could probably get over that, but I don't think you're supposed to. I try not to excessively go out of the way to break these maps by going the ways they obviously don't want you to go. Unless I see something interesting on the other side of them. But I guess this kind of just leaves us to go either the caveway or go back to the beginning and climb up all that stuff. Which I think we probably have to do at some point to get one of the things we need. Um, no, that's just a broken tree. This is also a broken tree leading into the raptor pen, but not out. Yeah, I don't think there's anything in there. I think it's just a little scenic trapped raptor. All right, where's the cave? Yeah, there definitely wasn't a cave before, but this looks like it was just kind of one whole model that was inserted in. So I'm trying to remember if there's another map that had, like, a black stone cave like this. 
You could probably just walk up, right? No? Maybe not. Alright. Well, we'll cut through the cave. Um, there's a pit. It doesn't seem like there's anything in the bottom of the pit, but then why is the pit here? <laughs> I mean, I guess you could fall in it if you were just looking straight ahead. So it's a minor danger. More like an inconvenience, really. Does this just lead to the trailer? Well, that's fenced off. No, there's also a fence here. But now you can see the trailer, because I don't think this was here originally either. Or maybe it was locked as well. So we're not getting in there until we get the white key card. I think I remember this as well. This is like a raptor nest. Alright. Oh. Okay. Hello, guys. Six left. All right. Apparently, the shotgun is a one-hit kill, so it is worth getting in it. All right. Well, let's not pull a Billy here. We'll just put this back. I'm, I'm sure some other raptors are still alive to take care of them. Okay, we've got a keycard here, but it's not... Oh, there's two more of them. It's not fully white. It's just kind of blue and white. Put that on my back. It's really nice having that extra slot for keycards. Looks like they replaced the M16 with a... SR16? Which is just like the DMR version of the M4. It seems to be projected far enough forward that we can actually aim it. This one is not a single shot kill, even though it's only got five rounds. Wow. What a not useful weapon for this situation. Okay, that round I fired into the ground through his body because <laughs> the gun clipped right through. Where'd the other one go? Also, this has some real tangible recoil compared to the usual trespasser guns. Okay, so we got a key card. I don't know if it's the right one. I guess we'll find out. I mean, this does seem like a generally expanded, in a positive way, version of the original map. Though it's got to be kind of a weird thing where you're like, you know, I like this map so much that I'm going to fix it and make it even better. But it was a good map, I remember that. I don't think I had any particular troubles with it aside from the aforementioned gun. Okay. This, I... Th think is the place where I said I wasn't going to go from the other side. With the three trees at the dead end. I thought it was a shortcut to get out, but it doesn't seem like we can actually get back up here. Yeah, I think it's faster to just go back through the cave. So I guess now I can either go back to the gate and try to use the keycard on it, though I don't think it's the right one, because there is obviously a pure white keycard as well. Or I can try going to the platforming zone we saw.
but I think there's not too many other areas of the map. I'm trying to remember where the the gasoline was originally. I think it was up top somewhere. I kind of vaguely remember it being up there. Let's quickly run up here and see if we can use our keycard. If not, then I'm not sure what to do about the keycard, because I don't think there'll be another one in here, will there? If this one was just a fake out? Let's see. Yeah, I don't think this is the right one. So we're not getting through there yet. We might be able to use this keycard to open the gate from the other trailer, from the inside, because I think the gate is openable from that side. So this just leaves us at the moment with the platforming side. Which is always my favorite thing to do in Trespasser. Platforming hell. I think after getting through that level in JPDS planes with the, the mine platforming, though, anything else will seem less troublesome by comparison. Also, do I need this? Nope. Wonder if I could use that as a bridge. Just kind of noticed it as we were walking back. All right. Uh, where do we even go to start this? I think we have to drop down and then, like, circle back up. Okay. Just try not to die. Okay, so we can go up that, and it goes up there. Looks like there might be something up there, though, because this one is just a dead end. I don't think you can get from there to... The well, you might be able to jump that. But uh, let's check if we can find a key there. Quick save here in case there's no reason to go up there. Not gonna be able to just jump up here. Oh, we got a key. I was gonna say a keyboard. We got a clipboard. Sedule. Get key from complex. Refuel helicopter. Bury Jack. Evacuation note. Where are the gas tanks? Get key from complex. Okay, well, where's the complex? You can lift this above your head. <laughs> uh, maybe not. I think those ones are too heavy. All right, well. Grab one of the... Maybe I can get this up here somehow. Lifting crates has never been that easy in Trespasser. <laughs> There's a crate tower here. I think that's what I was supposed to get. Because those other ones seem like they were fused in place. Like, they're like, nope, you have to use these to get up, so don't move them. Which isn't the worst idea for some of this kind of platforming. And we made it up here. It looks like there is something on top of that crate. Take it slow. Um. Hmm. Okay. Feels full. Oh my god. Got a G3. Are these even legal? That is a G3, right? That's it. Don't need that. I remember vaguely from the thread that we do actually need the crowbar to open something, so... 
gonna have to find that. What's that over there? Do you see that next to the rock? That could be just another rock, but that does look like it might be something we want. Or that's possibly the spas that I just threw away. That is, oh, it's the clipboard. That I threw away. <laughs> I was like, there's no way the white key is just sitting there on the floor, right? Okay, we get the crowbar. I'm glad I read the thread and I remembered that one little bit because otherwise I would have never assumed the crowbar was that important. Though it was in a place that would tell you that it's important. If it's just sitting up top. Okay. Feels full. Well, that's going on our back. So now we've got the key card, the not quite white key card, as well as the crowbar, as well as this gun, so we don't have room to pocket all three. I. How did that end up exactly where I was standing? I was trying to throw it up here so it doesn't get stuck in the box. Oh no. These are... These are too heavy to get up here. Now I can kind of get up like that. Otherwise, we're going to have to drag one of those other regular crates up. Feels full. Okay, from here. I don't know what these boxes are for. Oh, that, I think that's how we get down. We've got some tree platforming to do. This leads just back up to the main area. Yeah, okay, that just leads back where we were. So we aren't just trapped down here. So I think we need to just get up here, right? falling. I don't like that sliding sound. There's like a scraping sliding sound that makes it sound like something important is falling. quick save here because it seems like this is potentially breakable like you might just not be able to get up if things fall apart too much which is why I assume some of the crates are welded in place but not all of them okay we made it up is there something back along here generally when new stuff like this is added I assume it's for a specific purpose watching Anne's arm go ape. Though I imagine it would be a pretty good workout trying to hold one of these one-armed for this long. Okay, this is just a drop. <laughs> Maybe this is actually not purposeful. It's just kind of the rim of the crater. Or inner rim. So if we go this way, it should lead to that tree we saw above where we spawned. Yeah, that one over there. But first, oh, actually, it's not that one over there. First we have to get across the treetop puzzle. 
without losing my gun, which is the real challenge. Well, that's unfortunate. I'm pretty sure if I load, I'm still going to be dead. Nope. It's a weird thing, because if you try to restart a level, usually it'll just load you dead. But it seems like loading uh, existing level actually works. Okay. Yep. Ow. This is going to be tough. It would be easier without the gun, but I kind of need that. It's the only other gun we found. I think I just need to... I think also the gun is... It's kind of screwing me. We might just have to abandon it, at least for now. Yeah, no, don't hit restart, because that will break it. There we go. Um, I think I might just have to pitch the gun down there and pick it up later. So yeah, what I'm thinking is I need to jump and then immediately jump again to kind of momentum bounce onto the... No, I keep getting stuck on the tree. Well, this is actually not a bad place to be. Ah. I try to jump off, but jumping is a little weird when you're on an object, because again, walking kind of takes priority over jumping, so if I hit forward, I'm going to walk instead of jump and just die. I need to get kind of away from this tree. <laughs> and doesn't have the best air control. Okay. Mm. This is a little rougher than trying to jump onto flat surfaces. Because even if I land it, I might just slide off. Okay, I need to be like, kind of here. I think I'm actually getting stuck in the thing I was standing on. Oh, oh gotta autocorrect a lot. I, you know, I hate to save scum this, but I kind of think I need to because I'm just <laughs> gonna die at every single section. Like, this is not a bad idea. I like this better than the collapsing stuff from the JPDS level. Because at least these trees don't have physics beyond uh, our own body physics working against us. This friggin' tree. <laughs> the hitbox is what I'm getting stuck on. It's like jutting out from the side of the tree, and it's pushing me off. Oh, okay. Well, that was, that was entirely me. <laughs> that was me holding forward. Stabilize. And then... Oh, boy. This should be such a simple section. <laughs> like, right when I start off, I have to autocorrect, and then I have to jump to stop being stuck in the tree. Okay, okay. Uh, I feel a little robbed on that one. I was standing on the tip. But the tip doesn't have physics. Okay. We'll get this, though. We're almost there. And then it didn't look like there was more jumping platforming like this. I feel like I need a count of how many times I quick saved. Let's see if I'll put that in when we get across. Or not quick save, but how many times I had to load a save. Why? Why is the end not physical? <laughs> well, I'm going to say that this takes away at least 0.5 of a point from this level if I did numerical ratings, which I don't. I don't really do ratings at all. I just say whether I enjoyed it or not. Okay, we need to not land on that cross part. We need to get farther than that. But the tree is shoving me off. Like, right now, I'm getting pushed off by this tree. Trying to get closer. And it's like, nah, you can't stand here, man. No loitering. <sighs> Alright. <laughs> so, total number of deaths from that section. And carrying on. 
So we are unarmed, which hopefully is not going to be an issue. Um, there's the tree from our starting point. And, oh, I th there was a T-Rex for a second, but it's just the para. Okay, this part, I also kind of remember. This is the helipad that, for some reason, has a shack on it above where we started. Oh, boy. I hope there's no key in here, because otherwise it's going to be a keetle in a haystack. Oh. There's a weapon in here. It's the Lindstrat Toxic Rifle. One shot. I'm not really sure why we're allowed to grab this like this, <laughs> but I this is this is a thing that happens sometimes. I could kill myself with this if I wanted to. One shot. You just have to. Mm. <laughs> Dead before you even feel the prick of the dart. As you can see from the fact that my heart has not even filled out. Okay. So let's not poison ourselves. One shot left. Let's hold this uh, somewhat usably. Leave it there. Because I think the gas is back here. Yep, there it is. I actually thought it was just kind of over here. Okay, nothing over here, right? Just making sure I'm not missing anything else. That box fell right through the roof. So there's the gasoline. Oh, this is good. This is very good. We're just gonna plonk down there. Go get it later. Huh. And we're going to take our sem sem <laughs> semi-functional rifle and carry huh. it with us. Huh. Those are the Carcharodontosaurus that I saw in Proto Park earlier today, <laughs> for the first time. I guess they must be in JBDS at some point. Okay, this is going to be so hard to pull off. This is too far away to try to do this. <laughs> but it would be super dope if I had actually managed it. For it. Need the perfect opportunity. That's it. Ooh. Well, I tried. Huh. We always have the G3 to fall back on if we need to kill those guys. Huh. Well, we got the gas. We got the gas, but now what? We don't have the right key card, and we don't have a key. So how are we going to get into that complex? Ow! I feel like I might have had this problem with the original map. It's just not knowing where the key card is. Or the key, one or the other. But we do have that crowbar. Forgot about that already. <laughs> we can probably crowbar that door open. The uh, original trailer that we saw. So we're not quite at a dead end yet, but let's deliver the gasoline first. Also, I'm pretty sure those two are going to be distracted probably forever by that corpse. Since they have unlimited hunger. Magnetize that in. It worked. All right, helicopter is fueled. 
Now we just need a key to take off. So, we need to head back to the trailer, I guess. Uh, I was trying to find my gun. Feels full. You never know when you might need a hundred or so bullets. Trying to get a good look at them before we head on. They've got like the ridge spine, but yeah, they they don't have the memorably piercing blue eyes of the Carcharodontosaurus. I don't think they're gonna bother us much. funny in the AVGN review of Trespasser he was pointing out the T-Rex as being a non-threat and I feel like that was the case for me as well I just kind of gave them an implied threat because like oh they're T-Rexes so obviously they're dangerous I don't know if I ever really stood around and let them attack all right so I think all we need to do is pry this door open right Wow. I wonder what they left here. That was really easy. Just kind of tinked right open. And there is the actual key card we need. I... I... Okay, I can't swing it. I was going to say, I really want to try to bash a raptor to death with this. Though there does seem to be quite the absence of raptors in this level. Aside from the nest. Which, weirdly, I just realized that Nest did not even have the same raptor type as the one that's trapped behind the fence. Now, one thing I'm worried about here is that the trailer at the end will also need the crowbar and we'll have to come back for it because I don't remember if that one's locked. That was a fairly intuitive puzzle, because you're like, yeah, I can probably crack that door open with a crowbar, once you find the crowbar. Especially since the crowbar is not a normal Trespasser object. Like, that's not just a random tool you can find in Trespasser, like the sledgehammer. So we use this here. Ha! I'm a genius. And I don't know if we still need this. I'm going to check the inside of the gate here first before I drop it. But I think this is where our other key card might come in handy. Please just work. Yeah, okay, so... Oh! Okay. It actually did just work. It just works. So, do we need the other key card, or was it really a red herring? Huh. Uh, this one didn't drop when I touched it. <laughs> I think it's supposed to have a pallet under it as well. Okay, the door seems to be open. does have, like, a chair wedged behind it, though. Feels full. Problem solver. It's half gone. What, really? That was, like, what? Six shots? Hoping we might be able to get on the roof from back here. It's half 
have gone. Is this door really supposed to be this wedged, though? Okay, there we go. We do actually have a use for this key card. I think. There we go. Secret compartment. Ooh, ah. Is this a secret compartment? That's just called a locked door, and. Many dangers stalk thee. What's that? I believe the many dangers are outside. Or not? Empty. Oh, hello. What are you supposed to be? I mean, he's taking his time to get over here. Is that like one of the the Mattel figure <laughs> color schemes? I very nearly just met my death there. Cause that's what it looks like. That reminds me of like the old Jurassic Park action figure color schemes. He seems very intent to pursue us to the helicopter. Well, I don't know, he actually slid his way through, so he he is quite determined. But I think he's stuck on the tree. Oh. Yeah, no, I don't think he's fitting through that gap. I barely fit through that gap. I was going to lead him to the, the car chars, but I guess I don't need to now. Still, it would have been cool if he chased me all the way to the helicopter. I think that's what he was supposed to do. No, we already did that. trying to follow me. I don't know where to put this key. I feel like I might have broken this a little bit by doing the fuel first. Key... In. Also, I like that it's so broken that it doesn't even have a control stick. <laughs> you don't need that, you just need the pedals. Hmm. Maybe I put the key in here? Yeah, I think I might have gone out of order, which would break the ending trigger. So let's quickly just uh, s reverse the order of doing these. Well, since that didn't work out, I decided to go through again, and I got the key first instead of getting the gas first, so I already triggered that. Now I have the gas can on my back, and we're going to try it again and see if it actually triggers properly now. Also, we have another shot with this thing. as Anne just kind of, like, telepathically holds it beneath her fingers. I did manage to get this fella to follow me without getting stuck. 
I kind of thought he'd fight these guys, but they seem to be just sharing the corpse. I also found out in between recordings that these are not supposed to be Carcharodontosaurus from Operation Genesis, but instead are actually Giganotosaurus from one of the Carnivorous games. So that explains why they look a little bit off. I don't know why these guys aren't going to fight, especially since he doesn't seem to be going for the corpse, so... I don't know, let's uh, give him a prick of the dart. I love how it just makes a blood explosion when you hit them with this dart. Alright, let's see if we can actually get this helicopter to start up and finish the level proper. Not that it's super necessary, but I want to say that I actually completed it. Alright. Key. Gas can. Pop this in there. Pull this down. It worked. Okay. It worked. Now what? That kind of looks like it's a key slot also, but I don't know why you would put it in there. Uh, helicopter go? Yeah, I don't know. I kind of thought, like, maybe it would just auto-trigger after we'd done both of those things. Oh, shit. But maybe the level end trigger is broken in this version? Okay, good. It didn't fall all the way through. I was worried it would fall through the ground. I just, I don't see anywhere else to use this key. It's not like I can just kind of... It worked. It worked. It worked. Rub it against it until it works. I don't know, maybe, do I have to disconnect the fuel hose? Seems a little advanced. This looks like there's supposed to be a switch here. Doesn't it? It's making all kinds of clanking sounds. Alright, what if I... Pull this up. I gotta, like, stand on top of it to pull it up. Nope. It's definitely in the right position now. Weird, you can see through... You can see through the back, because I guess there's no inside texture there. I don't know, folks. I guess, uh... Guess we'll just have to use our imaginations a little bit about her actually leaving here. I don't remember if the original level actually ended properly. I'll have to go back and check that. But uh, that's cr Craters Evolved, I guess. It's definitely a good upgrade of the original level. It just kind of adds more complexity without being super tedious. I mean, obviously... There was that annoying platforming section over there, but like the other platforming parts of it, I didn't mind. It's just the, the general slipperiness of the trees and specifically the extra wide like bounding boxes on those two trees there. Because aside from those two, I really didn't have that much trouble. And when I went through again for this part, when I had to replay through the level, I actually kind of bounced across all of the trees except the last one, and then I fell off. <laughs> so you can do it pretty quickly. But aside from that, I'd say this was definitely a good level. An improvement of an already enjoyable level made even better. Alright, well, I guess I'll see you folks on the next Trespasser Customs. But until then, I've been Shadefire, and I hope you'll join me on our next Dinosaur Jungle Adventure. Take care, everyone.